Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video we are going to look at the famous equation of Newton's second law of motion. F is equal to ma. But is F is equal to ma really the correct form of the Newton's second law of motion? Well, the short answer is yes and no. It is certainly correct but in some specific conditions. And the conditions in which we can apply F is equal to ma without any doubt is when the mass of the object remains constant. But does the mass of the object change? So the answer is yes. The actual mass of the object may change. So in that case we can't use f is equal to ma because it only has information about the change in velocity of a body in time in the form of acceleration but has no term for when the mass of the object change. So in that case Newton's law say that the rate of change in momentum is equal to the net force applied. Let's do some math. Force is equal to delta p which is momentum divided by delta t time. Let's suppose we have mass m and you applied force so the velocity of the mass m change from vi to vf which is the initial and final velocity. Now let's open the equation so it becomes that the force is equal to the final momentum minus initial momentum which is equal to the change in momentum. Now we know that the momentum of the body is equal to the product of mass and velocity. So the final momentum of the body will be equal to the m mass multiplied by the final velocity of the body. And the initial momentum of the body will be equal to m multiplied by the initial velocity. Let's suppose the mass of the object does not change. So the m remains constant and can be taken common from the equation. Now what remains is Vf minus Vi divided by time. And we know this term as acceleration. You see when the mass is taken constant, so the F is equal to ma equation becomes valid. But when the mass of the object change, then we can't use this form of Newton's second law. And those cases are when the rocket is sent to the space. So it has a lot of fuel burned in a way in a very short amount of time and the mass of the rocket changes. So in that case, we can't use F is equal to ma. Also when the body is moving at a very high speed, like around the speed of light, so according to Einstein the mass of the body increases. And so Newton's second law also needs some modification there. We will discuss in the next video how to write equations for the Newton's second law in these situations.